Hello, welcome to watch the creative proteomics video. Today, we are going to talk about protein and protein interactions, especially about the biological effects, types, and working as drug targets. Proteins, biomolecules or macromolecules, perform a wide range of functions in organisms. Almost all of the cellular processes require that proteins specifically recognize a multitude of different interaction partners. They can carry out their roles by interacting with other molecules, including DNA, RNA, proteins and small molecules. Protein and protein interactions refer to intentional physical contacts established between two or more proteins, as a result of biochemical events or electrostatic forces. Protein and protein interactions play important roles in various biological processes, including cell-to-cell -cell interactions, cell cycle progression, signal transduction, and metabolic pathways. Physici and fields have marked the important properties of protein and protein interactions. Firstly, protein and protein interactions can alter the kinetic properties of enzymes, which may lead to subtle changes in substrate binding or elasteric effects. Secondly, they can act as a general mechanism to allow for substrate channeling by moving a substrate between domains or subunits. Next, protein and protein interactions can create a novel binding site for small effectors molecules. Then, they can inactivate or suppress a protein and change the specificity of a protein for its substrate by interacting with different binding partners. Lastly, in an upstream or a downstream event, they can serve as a regulatory role. A physical protein interaction can be classified into different interaction types depending on many factors, including composition, affinity, and lifetime. Based on compositions, these groups of complexes can be classified into homo-oligomeric and hetero-oligomeric complexes. A homo-oligomer is formed when the interaction occurs between identical chains, whereas a hetero-oligomer is formed when an interaction occurs between non-identical chains. For example, GROL consists of 14 identical subunits of 57 keta, each forming two heptameric rings arranged back to back. Several enzymes, carrier proteins, scaffolding proteins, and transcriptional regulatory factors carry out their functions as homo oligomers. Obligate and non obligate complexes are differentiated by the affinity. An obligate interaction means the constituents of a complex are unstable on their own in vivo. The components of non-obligate interactions can exist independently. For instance, Ku proteins, which are involved in DNA repair, are shown to bind DNA as obligate homodomers. HRAS protein, a G protein, can interchangeably form non-obligate complexes with guanosine triphosphatase activating proteins. According to lifetime, there are transient and permanent interactions. The components of transient interaction associate and dissociate temporarily in vivo, while permanent interactions are usually very stable and irreversible. Permanent protein-protein interactions mean that components are stable only in a complex form. Strong transient protein-protein interactions refer to that association or dissociation takes place under certain triggers, such as chemical modification, conformational change, and colocalization. Weak transient protein-protein interaction means that complexes are broken and formed continuously and the dissociation constant is in a micromolar range. The domain peptide complexes are mostly transient. To summarize, non-obligate interactions are transient, but some non-obligate interactions are permanent, like some enzyme minus inhibitor interactions. Despite the significant roles of protein and protein interactions in cellular functions, they have considerable potential roles as therapeutic targets. Targeted modulation of protein and protein interactions with small molecules is one of the most promising approaches, with more than 50 protein and protein interactions that have successfully been targeted with small molecules. Most of these are inhibitors of protein and protein interactions, but stabilization is also a strategy for targeted modulation. Compounds have different modes of action on protein-protein interactions. For inhibitors, they can display a competitive effect on the protein-protein interactions to prevent the binding of the natural binding partner, which was called competitive mode. Another way is the elasteric mode of inhibition by binding a compound to a site not directly part of the protein-protein interface, but arresting the protein in a low affinity conformation, so that binding of the natural binding partner is impeded. A connectional or elasteric mode of stabilization is also possible. 
Through binding of a compound in an elasteric mode of stabilization, a protein can bind to its natural ligand in a high affinity conformation to enhance protein-protein interactions. Another form of stabilization is the connectional mode of action, which is the direct binding in the rim of the interface with simultaneously contacting both protein partners. At Creative Proteomics, our team of experts with extensive experience can help you understand what you are trying to investigate, and give you the most appropriate solutions about protein-protein interactions. We can provide protein-protein interaction services based on different methods, including co-amino precipitation, pull-down assay, cross-linking protein interaction analysis, label transfer protein interaction analysis, and far western blot analysis. Thanks for watching our video. At Creative Proteomics, we provide the most reliable services. If you have any questions or specific requirements, please do not hesitate to contact us. We are very glad to cooperate with you.